Good morning, Greenlighters. Welcome back. My name is Jane, and today it's Friday, June 5th, 2015. We woke up today, and that's an awesome thing. And today, this is how I want to greenlight my day. And I'm just going to bring you along for the ride. When I was like in my 20s, early 30s, um, I began a search uh, for... Well, I started hearing, because uh, I was an Oprah and Phil Donahue uh, fanatic back when I was younger. Uh, yeah, Phil Donahue. And I remember when Oprah started bringing uh, people who, authors, who changed the way I thought about life. I always thought life just happened. You know, it happened to you. You were born who you were, and life just happened, and you just, you know, grinned and bear it. You know, you gritted your teeth, and you got through it. Um and she started having people who were talking about love and, you know, creating the relationships that you want, um, personal power, and, you know, also Gary Zukav, the book, The Seed of the Soul, and his wisdom on living a life of intention literally changed my life. I mean, that's the book that I always go back to uh, that really um, affected me in the way I thought. So I learned, you know, that not, it wasn't just that... At that time, I learned, okay, I don't have to be this just because I was born this way. I don't have to think, you know, because these bad things have happened to me, that means I'm a bad person. You know, I can be who I want to be, and I can live a life of intention. I can intentionally make choices that um, help me become the person I want to be. You know? And I put uh, that into practice, right? I decided, who do I want to be? And in any given situation, is this... I want to be not saying that I don't mess up. No, let's get for real here. But, you know, that's what I started out as. I knew, I'm not sure that I, I had a definition for myself, but I knew that I wanted to be a person that stood for love and acceptance. Uh, I knew that I wanted that. Um, I wanted to, That's those are the things I wanted to, and I put it into practice, and it was hard, and it doesn't always make friends until you get to a point that you get better at it, right? Because like he says, what you put out into the world, you get back from the world. And I know that the more love that I gave out, the more I got it back. Um, does it mean that it's always accepted? No. You know, because I am an outspoken person and, you know, I am practicing authenticity. Um, when I, I've made the, you know, I guess, I don't know if I said error in judgment or what, but you know, that's times that I've, Tell my, I mean, if you're my closest friends, you know, I'm going to tell it to you and I'm going to tell it to you true. Um, but it's not because I, I'm not one of those people who say, well, the, um, what is it? I'm keeping it real. No, I, it's not because I'm keeping it real. I'm just telling you this is what I think. And you can, you know, say I disagree or not, you know, but I'm going to, you know, if I care about you, I'm going to tell you what I think. And, you know, obviously there's some people who don't like to hear what you have to think, you know, and they don't get what your intentions are and then you learn and you move on but what I what I want to talk about today what's green lighting my day is how I was able to do that I was able to learn that what you put out into the world you get back you know not to say bad things don't happen not to say that there won't be people that mistreat you or use you or lie to you or any of that stuff that's going to happen but that's on them you end up learning that those things are on them and that they're going through their journey and whatever is going on with them, that's their issue. There, there's lessons that everybody has to learn, right? All of us. And we can't be so focused on what other people are doing because we have our own journey to do. And if we're so busy looking over the year at them, we're going to have missed our path. We're going to get lost. And then at the end of the day, when we're, when we've, we're in our last day, we're going to be looking back thinking, what did I do with my life? How did I get here? Well, if you weren't paying attention, you got here because you were so busy looking at somebody else and you weren't looking at what was going on in your life. So how I'm greenlighting my day again is that with Gary Zukov's words, which you feel like, I don't know, this may not fit in with what I just said, but this is how I'm greenlighting. It's, he said, eventually you will come to understand that love heals everything and love is all there is. And that's what I'm coming down to. I decided I wanted to be a person that loved other people who was able to accept people the way they are, flaws and all, because I definitely have them. 
um, that's a challenging practice. It's a very challenging practice, but it's a worthy practice. And just because, you know, not everybody's willing to accept the love that you give them doesn't mean that it doesn't mean anything bad because lots of times people can't accept the love that you have to give them because they're still working and trying to give themselves love, you know, and people can't give to other people what they don't have. You cannot give love, unconditional love to anybody if you don't give it to yourself first. You can't. And so let's be merciful today. Let's forgive ourselves. Let's pat ourselves on the back. Let's love ourselves. Let's let go of shame and guilt. And just remember, who do you want to be in this world? Who do you want to be? And that no matter what, love heals everything. Okay. Okay, look. I know that this is corny for a lot of people. But this is how I feel we save a life. We save a life by loving ourselves, by loving other people, by allowing love to come into our life. Even though we feel like, oh no, if we allow ourselves to love somebody, we're going to be hurt and we're risking being hurt. Well, love never hurts. Love never hurts. Love is what heals. It's all the other stuff, you know, that we allow into it you know, the rules and limits and, you know, things that we, we want love to be. We want to shape it and put it in this box and say, love, if real love is this. But real love is not something you can fit into a box. It grows and expands and it's so big. It's a part of the universe. Universes. It's the energy that keeps us together, that connects us, that keeps us alive, in my belief. That's, that's true love. It grows. And the more you give it, the more it grows. And the more you get it. I saved a life one day by giving that person love. And I'm standing here before you as the person I saved. I saved this life. That green lights my day. Have a great weekend, green lighters. Make it green, all right? Mm -hmm.